Hello, my name is Jared, the nutritionist, and um, I'm the mind behind Full Force Fitness and Aztec Supplements. Today I would like to talk to you about ways to achieve optimal health, ultimate detox, longevity, and peace of mind. First things first, adaptogens. Adaptogens are a unique group of herbal ingredients used to improve the health of your adrenal system. That's a system in charge of maintaining your body's hormonal response to stress. They help strengthen the body's response to stress and enhance its ability to cope with anxiety and fight fatigue slowly and gently without causing jolts or big crashes. They're called adaptogens because their unique ability to adapt to the function according to your body's specific needs. Though the effects may be initially subtle and take time for themselves to be felt, they're very real and undeniable. Um, adaptogens are part of a group of herbal supplements popular in Ayurvedic medicine, which is from India. Um, when supplemented in advance of a stressful event, adaptogens are able to reduce the effects of stress on the body. Adaptogens do not necessarily share a common mechanism. They may be classified also as a nootropic sometimes. Adaptogens are also supplemented to boost the effect stimulants. More research is needed though to determine the mechanism behind this actual effect. Some popular ones um, that you'll see online or in health stores are Rodelia rosea, Tribulus terrestris, which is a very popular herbal supplement testosterone booster, Bacopa monieri, Holy Basil, which I take myself, Panax ginseng, which I take myself, and ashwagandha, which I have taken myself and is a great supplement. Uh, let's talk about brainwaves a little bit and their significance in your health. So one, beta, 14 through 40 HC, the walking consciousness and reasoning wave. Beta brainwaves are associated with normal waking consciousness and a heightened state of alertness, logic, and critical reasoning. While beta brain waves are important for affecting functioning throughout the day, they can also translate into stress, anxiety, and restlessness. The voice of a beta can be described as a nagging little inner critic that gets louder the higher you go into range. Therefore, the majority of adults operate in beta. It's a little surprise that stress today is the most common uh, problem of America. Number two, alpha wave. So 7.5 through 14 HZ is your deep relaxation wave. Alpha brain waves are present in deep relaxation and usually when the eyes are closed, when you're shipping and slipping into a lovely daydream or during a night of meditation. It's an optimal time to program the mind for success and it also heightens your imagination, visualization, memory, learning, and concentration. It is the gateway to your subconscious mind and lies at the base of your conscious awareness. The voice of the alpha is your intuition, which becomes clearer and more profound the closer you get to 7.5 HC. Theta waves, my favorite. Okay, Theta waves are 4, point, or 4 to 7.5 HC. It is the light meditation and sleeping wave. Theta brain waves are present during meditation and light sleep. They are included during all the important REM dream states. It is the realm of your subconscious and only experienced momentarily as you drift off to sleep from alpha and wake into a deep sleep wake from a deep sleep from delta. It is said that a sense of deep spiritual connection and unity with the universe can be felt and experienced at Theta, which I totally agree. Um, your mind's most deep-seated programs are in Theta, and it is where you experience vivid visualizations, great inspiration, ingenuity, profound creativity, and exceptional insight. Unlike your other brainwaves, the elusive voice of Theta is a silent voice. It is at the alpha-theta border from 7 to 8HZ where the optimal range for visualization, mind programming, and using the creative power of your mind begins. It is a mental state which you consciously create your reality. At this frequency, you are conscious of your surroundings, however, your body is in a deep relaxation. Delta, the deep sleep wave. Um, I had used this last night, I had trouble sleeping, and so I hooked up two, two headphones and I had turned on uh, delta waves on YouTube. So. That is 0 0.5 to 4 HC. That is your sleeping wave. The delta frequency is the slowest of the frequencies and is experienced in deep, dreamless sleep and in very deep, transcendental meditation where awareness is fully detached. Delta is the realm of your unconscious mind and the gateway to your universal mind and is the collective unconscious where information is received is otherwise unavailable at the conscious level. Again, delta is the realm of your unconscious mind and the gateway to your universal mind and collective unconsciousness where information received is otherwise unavailable at a conscious level, meaning you can't tap into these thoughts and ideas unless you're in the delta state. Um, among many things, deep sleep is important for the healing process. It's linked with deep healing and regeneration. Hence, not having enough deep sleep is very detrimental, aka bad to your health in more ways than one. Lastly, gamma rays above 40 HC, the insight wave. 
Um, I haven't really got into this too much or experimented with it too much in terms of programming my mind and listening to to uh, affirmations with the the correct HZ. Um, so with that being said, it says um, this range is most recently discovered as the fastest frequency. Um, we don't know too much about this state of mind, but the initial research does show that gamma waves are associated with bursts of insight and high-level information processing. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, you're a, a um, 